You know the vibes. PVO. Positive vibes only. FOE. Family over everything. High vibrations. Hope everybody's staying positive. Shooting all negativity down. Staying focused. Staying healthy. Clear minded. Protecting your energy. Focusing on yourself and mastering self. Today I want to talk to y'all about Moon and Libra. Moon and Libra, you might have a strong need for balance and harmony now. You probably desire to keep things nice rather than venturing into fundamental questions in order to not to disturb your peace. You must learn to share the good and the bad feelings. So during this time, the moon is in Libra, you might feel the need to um, not share your, 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 your good or your bad feelings. But this is a time that you wanna express yourself. You wanna, you wanna be yourself. Don't be afraid to be who you really are despite what is expected of you. Moon and Libra. Moon and Libra modifies your sun sign in this way. The bright side of the Libra moon, you are more adaptable, creative, charming, good nature, diplomatic. The dark side of the Libra moon, you are more indecisive, self-indulgent, Fervorless, changeable, independent. Libra is the sign of ecstatic perceptions. And here the moon's romantic, glamorous influence is accentuated. If you have the moon in Libra, you have a keen appreciation for beauty and art. In the artistic eye, unmatched by any other moon sign. You also have a heightened awareness of your environment and others around you. So if the moon is in Libra, and, and, and your moon and your um your moon is in Libra, then your your uh your senses is, is uh is heightened. You seem to um you know, have a, have a, have a, have a, have a eye that's unmatched like no other moon sign. You also have a heightened awareness of your environment and of, of people around you. So not only are, are your um, awareness heightened just with your surroundings, as far as your environment, but as far as uh, people around you too. However, what you truly value are those experiences that make life more beautiful and pleasing. You abhor cor coarseness, vulgarit vulgarity, or strife. Your, excuse me, your immediate reaction to anything unpleasant is to deny it. Or if that is impossible, at least to put it in the best possible light. You try to surround yourself with comfort and loving objects in a tranquil and luxurious, luxurious environment. If it were possible, you would live forever in a flower filled room with soft music playing in the background. Because you enjoy beautiful things, you are happy to spend your life I'm sorry, because you enjoy beautiful things, you are happy to spend your and sometimes other people's money on possessions that catch your fancy, that catch your attention. So you have a tendency because you 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 um you enjoy beautiful things, you have a tendency to 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 spend your money as well as others on them finer things that make you happy. You are the kind of 
you, you are the kind who will walk into a shop and instantly spot the perfect thing to go with what you have in the closet at home. The presentation and ritual surrounding a thing is as important to you as the thing itself. A meal served on fine china and crystals with embroidered linens, flowers, and candles on the table is as important as the taste of the food. So you 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 like you like things to be uh luxurious and and, and um real real fine so you know you real real like um real, real real picky about about the way the way you like things for instance like you know when you um like they said when you when, when you being served a meal you want when everything like you know like the forks and the knives everything in the proper placement and you know the wine glass or the fine china and you know things of that nature the moon in the balance sign of libra endows you with an open independent mind that tries to evaluate the world dispassionately and rationally a moon in libra also confers great personal charm enhances the ability to get along with people you are marvelous at understanding the other person's point of view through you I'm sorry, you are marvelous at understanding the other person's point of view, though you never lose sight of your own self-interest. So you you all are real um, good at understanding other people's uh, perspective, but at the same time, you don't lose your self-interest. You don't lose sight of your self-interest. For the most part, you are pleasing and easy to live with and have a gen... Um, a, gen a genial disposition. Libra is the astrological sign of partnership. And as a moon native, you function well in that relationship. Very often your destiny is tied up with a strong and influential person with whom you form a connection early in life. To a large extent, what you accomplish depends on your people. So what you accomplish in your life depends on the people that you interact with, the people that you know, the people that you surround yourself with. Essentially, you love with your head rather than your heart. So you love with your head rather than your heart. There is something a bit calculated about your, your, your carefully balanced emotional nature to become your lover a person has to possess certain qualities, such as good looks and eloquent and elegant social manners. It is not that you are unemotional, but love is more in ecstatic pleasure than steamy passion. You try you try to create something beautiful, fa fanciful if need be, from every intimacy. You may go through a, a number of affairs and marriages before you finally settle down with someone um, with whom you are mentally compatible, more necessary to you than sexual compatibility. When you are in a content marriage, it is a source of great satisfaction to you because it answers your need for security and reassurance and you truly enjoy sharing no matter what no matter what your sun sign may be the libra moon qualities are refinement and grace can be traced in your character if your sun is in air sign gemini libra aquarius libra moon accentuates your keen mentality and gives you an unsurpassed ability to win favor with other people. If your son is in an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, Lib Libra moon endows your strength 
of purpose with a creative bent. This is a winning combination for entrepreneurs and those dealing with the public. If your son is a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Libra moon underlines the intuitive, imaginative side of your personality and gives a strong, balanced, intellectual approach. If your sun sign is a fire sign, I'm sorry, if your sun is in a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Libra moon heightens your magnetism and flair and aids you, your ability to put original ideas into successful actions. Whatever your sun sign is, a moon in Libra gives you a polished, charming manner with people and an instant for fairness and artistic vision. 